as those of you who may be more familiar with this particular series of mine, for my recipe series, we have a different style to the kitchen today. This is the countryside version of the kitchen. I just felt like we should be a little nostalgic and take a look at the classic kitchen before the upcoming pizza DLC comes out. Now, don't get me quoted on anything. I don't know when it's supposed to come out. But I thought we would have a little nostalgic visit to this one anyway. Did I put anything down there? No. So. Let's see what we have here. What do we want to try? Ooh. Let's go ahead and try the lemon tart. As you can see here, this is one of the food recipes from the Food Network DLC, which I also have. I will leave a link to the description of that as well in the description. So, let's give it a try, shall we? And yes, I am in sandbox mode, so I can take my time with these recipes. If you would like me to revisit the classic career mode for Cooking Simulator, do be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section for me, please. That would be very helpful. And if you like what you see, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's very appreciated. Let's see. Okay, take 260 of the tart. I can do that. We'll leave the baking of that for last, but let's see what we can do about the rest of it. Coconut milk, 180. Honey, 20. Brown sugar, 5. Okay. I have to familiarize myself with the kitchen a bit, because it's been a while since I've played in this one. I've been playing the Cakes and Cookies DLC pretty much non-stop for my cooking simulator videos so far. So, I have to get reacquainted with this kitchen. Let's see, let's just take this over there and fit what fruits we can in it. I'm going to leave the chart for last itself, that way it doesn't burn while it's in the oven. Okay. Banana, lemon, orange, and strawberries. Okay. Huh? I forgot. How much? 100 banana, 80 lemon. 60 orange and 60 strawberries. Okay, we'll start with the strawberries first. Oh, the strawberries are in the fridge. That's right. I forgot. I think they are. Let's see. Yes, they are. Oh no, that's radishes. This is the strawberries. Duh. 
Come on, Alchemy, read. You should know what strawberries look like since they are my favorite. One, two, three, four, five, six. And lemon. One lemon. There we go. Now we get the orange. That's apples. Oh, I could have just grabbed a lemon from over here, but oh well. Whoops, nope, we don't want to do that. One orange. It's very nice that it peels it for us. Now where did the banana go? Is it down here? That's horseradish, that's not banana. No, that's corn, that's not banana either. Let's see, where did it go? I could have sworn it was here somewhere. Well, that's radishes too. That's potato. That's yellow bell peppers. That's not going to do us any good. Oh well. When in doubt, we come over here. Oh, we gotta put this down before we can access the box. That's right. I forgot. Okay, put. Put you down. Then we open up the box. And we will find the banana. Banana. There we go. One banana. Oops, I meant to throw it in there, but that's okay. We'll just do it that way. There. That should take care of all the fruits themselves. Oh, I just need 100 of that. Okay. So we need 180 of coconut milk, honey, and brown sugar. I'll go grab the honey because that's over here. That would be you. Do do do. Oh, that's right. The coconut milk is in the fridge, duh. There we go, coconut milk. Nice and healthy. An excellent choice, I'm told, but I've never actually had it that I can recall. Oh, the brown sugar. It's back over here. 
We got a fully stocked pantry to choose from, so let's hope we got the right one. Uh, some of you may be wondering why tarts are in this particular part of the game, but not in the bakery one. And that is because the tarts you saw earlier in the video are exclusively for the Food Network DLC. So it would not translate into the Cakes and Cookies kitchen. So they just decided to keep it in the regular the regular game and specific DLC that it came from. It would have been nice if they could have, considering it's also sweets, but I can understand why they couldn't. Let's see. That's ginger. That's not brown sugar. We need brown sugar. Do do do. That's cloves. That's pepper. Mustard. I know I saw it here somewhere. Where did you go? That's nutmeg. Horseradish. Turmeric. Oh, that's the cloves again. Never mind. Where are you? Where's the cinnamon? It did say brown sugar. I know it did. Yes, it did. Okay. White pepper, salt. No. Black pepper, sugar. Okay, time for the box again. I'm not going to confuse myself any further. Be under spices, alchemy, duh. Let's see. Brown sugar, there. Now, if you were playing in the regular career mode, you'd have to be careful about your budget for all of your materials and supplies. But since this is sandbox mode, we don't have to worry about that, which is another nice reason I like to use sandbox mode for my series. It makes it a little less stressful. Although the original game mode in career mode has its fun too. It's good and challenging. Let's see. We need to add the coconut milk, the honey, and brown sugar into the food processor. So we need to dump this out. Thank you. Put you back down there. Let's go grab us. Some bowls to work with. And yes, there is a reason for this. I find it easier to measure this way. I just prefer using the casserole dishes for this because they're a bit larger and I'm afraid the actual bowls would have the liquids go all the way through the floor. 
and that would not be good. I just grabbed a third one because I thought I might need it for something. Let's see. Get you guys over here. I'll do this in somewhat order and do the coconut milk first. If I can remember how to do this. That's what you want to have is the little red dot to be able to measure with. Let's see what? We need 180 and we have 58. So. Let's see. Almost there. That's okay. We expect that to happen. But here's what you can do if you've done too much like we have here. It's better to be a little over than under because you can take away some of the product like so. You press the X button so you can taste it. And since I play with a controller, I'm not sure what the keyboard controls are to do the same thing. And now we have 86, so now we just have to do it a couple of more times. One, two, three, four, five. And one more. Once we do that. And that is how you get the exact measurement of 180 for the coconut milk. And now we repeat the process for the honey. Which we need 20 mils for. Five. Oops, we did it a little bit over again. So, all we gotta do is do what we did before. But this time we'll press the button less times because we overcompensated a little less this time. If ever you get confused of where you are in the recipe, I'll show you what to do in just a second. Let's see, one. And there we have 20. Yay!
If ever you get confused on the recipe, you look at one of these screens. Wherever you are in the kitchen. And it'll show you the process. And here on this side, where the picture is, we have our ingredients that we need. And we add the brown sugar after that. But let's go ahead and grab our very useful companion. The ladle. And the 150 should do. And that will get us, if we are very careful, over here to our food processor. Well, maybe not. Okay, we'll just... Put it back in there. And put the ladle down here. And we'll pick this up. That's still, yep, that's still 180. I didn't manage to spill any of it, so that's good. Let's try it now. Maybe it'll go into the food processor now. There we go. Okay. I am very grateful they came up with the ladles for this because I am terrible with trying to pour it from the containers here. So, that takes care of that. Then we bring the honey. So, put that in there. Now we add our brown sugar, which is five. That's how we do that. I like to get it over the blades itself to make sure it's right in the middle. One, two, three, four, and five. Oops, we'll pick that up later. Get this over to the blender. Like so. We'll turn it on. Blend it up real good and we turn it off. And if you want to, you don't have to, but you can put it on all of the screens. Before you actually start the recipe. And that way you'll have the recipe up no matter where you are in the kitchen. Oh. 
Okay, now the hard part. We need to cut the banana into a hundred... A hundred grams of banana into twenty grams. So... Let's see... I guess I'll try to cut the banana in half. I'm not the best at cutting even in real life, so let's see how good we are right now. I think that's roughly half. Maybe. That's 95 and that's 105, so... We'll take this piece. We're gonna put it in this for now, so... That we know what we cut already. The cutting board's nice and clean again. I have a way we can do the strawberries. Let's see. We're going to use our automatic cutting machine. Because they're so small. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to do it anyway. those pick up the rest of them it's a little tedious to do it this way but it's to make sure that I don't miss a single one Just let me pick up the strawberry, thank you. Uh, I have no idea why the recipe couldn't let you just have, you know, the whole strawberry. Since they're so small, but oh well. It is what it is. go. Okay. Now that we got all of them in there, all we have to do is press the button. And they come out in pieces like so. I know it's a bit tedious to do it this way, but that's okay. And we need how much? We need... Uh.
Okay. I think I misunderstood the recipe, but that's fine. That's the small pieces that you're gonna get. So next we do our orange. Place it on the cutting board like so. Grab our knife. Got to do ten gram pieces for a total of sixty. I'm going to try. I guarantee nothing. I'm gonna try though. Okay. Put you down. We have to cut that into quarters, so I'm gonna take it off. We're going to cut up the one that's still on the cutting board. Like so. I will move them in there with the banana. So that we can keep track of them. And we're going to repeat the process for the other half. Now oh, I could have used one of the perks easily enough, called Steady Hands, if I had wanted to since this is sandbox mode, but I chose not to. Because in the actual game, if you play in career mode, it might take you a while to reach that point where you would be able to get it. So I chose not to get the perk at all. We'll put the other parts in here. Actually, we can put them there since we don't have the strawberries in that other one anymore. And last but not least, we have our lemon. It'll be a similar process to the orange we just did. I'm going to try and do things a little bit differently this time. That looks about as centered as I'm going to manage, so let's do that. And now that that's there, we're going to take one part off. So we can cut the other one. Yes, this is supposed to be in quarters. Okay. Oops. There. I 
I try to get it as centered on the board as possible. We'll just shove these over here for now. I like this kind of game because I find it very soothing. For anyone who is curious why I play this game. It's a challenge in itself to get the recipe right. But there's also something very calming about it. Let's see. I wish I could see this from a different angle. That's probably as good as I'm gonna get with that, so there's that. Okay, now that we have all of our things cut, We can get our tart, which if I remember correctly is in the fridge. I think. No. I was wrong. Goodness gracious, where is it? Take tart from where, though? It's not here. Maybe I have to order it from the box now. I don't think it's in any of these, is it? Nope. Nope. Probably not in here either, but... One nerd to check, no. You'd think it would be in the fridge, but I guess I have to order it from the box. That's fine, though. I don't mind that. If I were actually playing career mode, I might mind that, but in this case, no. I find it personally easier to put everything in alphabetical order so I can find it. Tart. Yes. That is what we want. This is the unbaked tart. And we're going to try and get it as close to this picture as possible. We're going to bake it for 40 seconds, okay. I could put it in there, but I think I'm going to have to because I don't think it's going to fit on the baking tray. But Let's try the baking tray first. Oh, no. That's a little bit backwards there, people. I don't know if this will work. 
but I would assume so. Okay. I want you to go on the baking tray, not over the tray. No. That's not going to work then. Because if it was going to work, it would just drop it onto the baking tray. So, we need to use the one that's down here. Let it go in like so. Close it up. Give ourselves a little extra time on the timer here. We need It's faster to do it this way, let's see. Let's go ahead and give ourselves an extra 10 seconds here. Hopefully it's not going to burn. Oh yay, it didn't burn, it's done. Woohoo! And now we have our cooked tart. Yay! I'm just gonna put you right there. We have room for our tart here. Transfer into tart the lemon, the bananas, going to put all of the fruits and things in here first and then we will pour our stuff over when we have them all in here. I know I'm not probably following the recipe exactly, but I'd like to be generous with our customers and give them plenty of fruit in their tarts. I'll just give them all of it. I'll stick that there. And last but not least, we will take our mixture. We will get our ladle. And 
we will make sure to get all of our stuff. I forgot the brown sugar ended up on the floor. It's probably gonna tell me it's too much, but we'll see. We'll take a picture. So we can admire our lovely creation. And now we'll serve it to see our score. Actually, for my first lemon tart, that's not bad. Guest is pleased. Yay! Flavor perfect, temperature perfect. All right. That's not bad. I'll take it. Bad cutting technique. Bad cutting technique. Bad cutting technique. Wrong amount of products. So maybe I should have just used half of the oranges next time. Okay. Well, folks. As you can see. The guest is pleased with our little creation. And that being said, this has been Alchemy. I hope you've enjoyed your time in my lovely kitchen. And I will catch y'all next time. Bye now.